who would like to go next? Alexander. Yeah, Grunink. Yes, Alexander is just fine. Alex, Alex, great. Alexander, can you tell us who you are and what you do? And hopefully, and this is Varum, right? Why you do what you do. Now, that's a big one. That's a hard one, right? That's it, yes. right? A very basic story, like a journalist would ask you questions, right? So, you know, how are you? What do you do? Oh, why do you do that, right? And your goal is to present to us at least, right? If Unless you want to present to your customers, whatever. But I want to be able to understand you, to retain you, and to connect with you on a human level. You feel me? Yes. Let's do it. Let's get started. <laughs> so um, I'm Alexander from NEasy. We are a software company from Germany. And we basically develop the, I just came up with that, the Tinder for companies. Or in Germany, we would say the Elite Partner, which is like a special kind like OK Cupid or something <laughs> for companies. And um, we, we do that not from a dating perspective, but from a perspective that we believe your employees are the asset. Like, like in dating, the person is the most important thing within your company. And we try to match people within companies. If one has a problem, like on a dating platform, you're looking for something, we find the expert within the company that can solve that according problem. And um, we started like a year ago. Currently, we are in our better phase. So, so we just started our product. Um, right, let's stop right here, unless you have a final point. It was around a minute so far. Though, if there's a final point, there's a final point. Let's do it. And uh, no, no, uh, that's it. I just have some points to the why, but but yeah. All right, all right. Let's hear the why though, because you were zoning out a little bit, droning on. So yes. I quit it. But then you have a final point. Let's do it. I, after my studies, I worked in a couple of big corporates, and uh, I found out that actually, even though they have a lot of employees, a lot of knowledge. Most of it was unused. Everyone was just within their boxes and bubbles and working their day by day lives. And we also try to like break some of those boxes. I like that. Now it's getting interesting, Alexander. I'll show you a few things now. Two tests that you can steal from me and take to improve your presentations. Man, one is very boring. That one, maybe is a more interesting. Let's start with a more interesting one. Now, everybody in this chat, we are around a certain amount of people. Let's crowdsource feedback for Alexander. He did the first draft. He's a good sport about it. I apologize I interrupted him a little bit, but he was zoning out a little bit. So I had to keep the pace going. So it would be too boring, all right? Alexander, very coachable, very good. So you're, we are going to rate Alexander on an excitement scale, right? 10 being the highest level of excitement you can imagine. And zero would be something along the lines of... We are very happy to be here, and we have a very good project, and we are invited to present at SABIT, the conference, and we are building something that's very important that connect the nodes in the network, right? So that would be zero, right? No excitement, zero. Boring, right? 10, being very excited. Please leave a number in the chat in this Google Meet to rate Alexander's delivery of his, you know, minute plus little pitch, right? The who, what, why, so to say. Where would you give him, where would you place him on this 10 to 0 scale? 10 being highest, 0 being the lowest, purely levels of excitement. Now, you do not have to be polite. It's a feedback loop that immediately allows Alexander to gauge how the audience felt about how he delivered it. Not to put Alexander on the spot, but to give him practical feedback to gauge the audience's reaction. Alexander, are you cool with that? If of you're course. not, I will. Okay, very good, very coachable. Sweet, let's see the little chat log we have. We have a five and a four. Everybody else is being a little more reserved. Hmm, I don't want to give Alexander feedback. He might not like me later on. Hmm. All right. Feel free to leave a comment in terms of rating. If people didn't understand what I referred to, that's on me. So 10 being level high in terms of excitement, his delivery, how he spoke, and zero, no excitement. Please leave a comment in the chat with a rating between that scale. So 10 being high, zero being none. I only see two ratings so far. I know more of you can rate. 
pretty pleased with cherry on top, if I may. A four. I love it. Everybody's so candid today. Very good. All right, Alexander, what are you seeing so far? It's a quick acid test. Obviously, the statistical significance and, and error rate are a bit on the side we need to improve, but think of it as a subjective quick test. What are you seeing from your audience? Um, I'm apparently not that excited <laughs> about my own Well, you're, you're somewhere in the middle, right? We can, we can lift it up a little bit. Now, the second test I normally have to do with memory, and I will ask normally random, one, random participant of what they retained from what you said, what they remembered, but I'm going to bypass this, and I'm going to just immediately give you a second shot. So, Alexander, the why started getting interesting. I understand it's some sort of application that match makes, like a Tinder thing, or OkCupid, okay for people who still know what that means. All right, OkCupid, okay or Tinder, all right? And you match businesses, and it reminds me of what Ishina is doing. Yeah, I guess your guys' colleagues somewhat. Not really. Not really? No, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So Alexander, so it's an application, if I got this right, or a software, a platform, of some kind. Yes. Ah, all right, all right. And so, why did you start this particular thing? Remind me. From my experience, that um, there's just not any really good solutions if I have problems to tap the knowledge of the people around me. What are you talking about? What knowledge, man? I can, of course, give examples of my own, but help me understand from your vantage point, from your experience. You worked in a corporation before, is that right? Yes. Why corporation? Quite a couple. One was a huge bank and the other one was uh -huh. a big television comp company. Understood. All right. Uh, a retail bank or investment bank or you, they had everything? They had everything. <laughs> Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So you want to match the expertise from those various corporations or there were some sort of bubbles? Or help me understand the pain. The same way Christian discovered the pain of the wine industry a little bit and decided to venture out on his own with an ERP system to help out them run those businesses. So what pain did you discover? So the thing is, if I do my daily life, like we did, the internal com communication, we wrote papers and so on, that worked fine. But the moment I stepped outside my comfort zone and I had any problem regarding I want, want we needed to do something with social media or we needed to do something mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. other experts, I was yeah. basically on my own. I was lost. I needed to run around the companies and find a solution. Ah. Yes. So is this an internal tool, like an it's, index it's for an people? Internal tool. Yes. All right, so I'll give you an idea. Uh, it's a bank, let's call it Deutsche Bank, right? Whatever, the real bank, of course, but uh, you know. Uh, let's say how much. Deutsche bank. All right, let's call it Deutsche Bank. <laughs> how many people does it have, Deutsche Bank? Like 100,000. 100,000 people. And you were what? A product owner, a project manager, some sort of risk analyst? What were you? Oh, I was just some employee in marketing. There was not, I did not have a name, and they. Just some marketing. I was a marketing guy. Very Kafkaesque of you, right? I, I love it. Some kind of faceless, big corporate German organization, and you're a small little cog, a small little fly in it. I love it. Guys, I have a very particular sense of humor. This is what, what <laughs> listening to 1,000 pitches a year does to your brain. You become <laughs> very detached. I'll call it detached. But I try to make it fun for myself a little bit. All right, so the story here, and you work in several corporations, right? It's called the corporate drone a little bit. But then when you wanted help outside the scope of your department or outside your skill set, and you want to venture out within the organization to get help, it will you'll be left alone. And you couldn't. And you now you're building a solution to match make those skills. So you don't have to chase around different departments, emailing people, calling people, but instead you can get matched within a few minutes, less than an hour. Did I get this right? Yes. Cool. Sweet. I got something, Alexander. Thank you. All right. Obviously, I'm not a subject, subject matter, uh, matter expert, giving your experience, but let's let's give it a shot. The name of the company right now that you have? It's N Easy. Uh, send Easy or N Easy? N Easy for networking made easy. Networking made easy. N Easy. Yes. N Easy. All right. Hi, my name is Alexander. I'm the CEO of N Easy. Now we're a matchmaking software, but we're the kind of matchmaking software you can think of it as a OkCupid or Tinder, 
but for corporations. So a company the size of Deutsche Bank, let's say, that has 100,000 employees all around, would have folks, well, what I used to be, a corporate employee, almost faceless, and I would work somewhere in marketing. And let's say I needed a social media specialist or somebody to advise me what we could do. Now, while I was there, I had to chase all kinds of people around trying to get that skill set. And I quickly realized, although in my own domain, I would have all kinds of support, but outside of it, I would be on my own. And that's how, well, close to 100,000 different employees in that organization feel unless they have the power to do something about it. We give them a tool to match make with the people they need to get the job done. It can be a social media banner. Hell, it might be a coach. Hell, it might be a developer. We allow this matchmaking to happen. Not the good old fashioned way, but in a quick little swipe. Anyway, how's that like? Well, that was pretty awesome. Thanks. All right. Next one online, Alexander, just giving you ideas. All right, excitement level though. Why you do what you do, man? Think about the vision. Think of what it could be. Raise that five or four to at least a seven. You know, if it's a really conservative culture, maybe you can give it out six, but you'll do well to amp it up so I can pay attention to you, especially in the evening. Does it make sense? Yeah, the eight is something I would want to aim for, or I want to aim for. <laughs> no biggie, no biggie. I, I generally get on, well, if I'm lazy, I'll get around seven and a half, right? Uh, generally, my average among, you know, groups of hundreds of people in conferences can be an eight, right? In smaller meetings, around that, seven, eight. Next one in line, who would like to pitch and practice and get feedback in real time? Or maybe have me pitch you a little bit to give ideas and more inspiration what you could sound like. Or I will just work with you as a coach. Jakub.